We're going to turn now to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that reserve deputy facing charges for shooting a suspect with a real gun instead of his stun gun. The FBI today clearing Robert Bates of any civil rights violations. He remains accused of manslaughter, shooting a suspect being held down by other deputies. The sheriff there in Tulsa today saying Bates was properly certified. The victim's family had claimed those records are incomplete. Now to that blast of severe weather hitting at this hour. 55 million Americans from Florida to New York, hail, high wind, severe thunderstorms. Now tornado watches in nine states from Georgia to Pennsylvania. A dangerous commute home. That is the hail hitting in Marietta, Georgia tonight. I-75 slamming into the windshields there. Across Arkansas this evening, dangerous lightning on the horizon there. There's clouds all part of the same system. And take a look. It is marching east and quickly. Meteorologist Rob Marciano with the new storm track. He's standing by. But first, ABC's Lindsay Davis with the new images coming in now. Tonight, nearly the entire I-95 corridor, more than 50 million people in the crosshairs of severe storms. Georgia pummeled with hail. I've never seen hail this year. This storm has the very real potential to produce tornado touchdowns. Tornado warnings sending these Georgia high school students into lockdown, sheltering in a hallway. The storm's also proving deadly. A 60-year-old killed after a tree crashed onto her house in Atlanta this morning. Sirens blared along Miami Beach after a funnel cloud was spotted. While in New York, 45 mile an hour wind gusts flipped umbrellas inside out. Midday traffic is creeping along because of major flooding on this highway. In fact, we've gotten more rain just in one hour today than we have in the entire month. All that rain also causing flash flooding. This same system producing more than 400 severe weather reports since the weekend. Damage from confirmed tornadoes and straight line winds. In Alabama, the winds so strong, trains blown off their tracks. Severe weather is expected to continue throughout the night. Commuters in the Northeast still not getting a break, David. Slow moving for that commute home. Lindsay, thank you. Let's get right to Rob Marciano because this is hardly over yet. Yeah, it's been an incredible slow moving system, but now unleashing across the East Coast tonight. Take a look from Southern Florida all the way up through Northern New England. Rough stuff either happening or on the way. And that includes the threat for tornadoes. Here's where the radar is showing the watch boxes up from Florida. And there you see it. Tornado possibility from central Pennsylvania through D.C., even Philly tonight. Here's how the storms time out as this front moves off the East Coast. The next two to ten hours is when the uh, rough weather will happen. And by tomorrow morning, we will begin to dry out, David. All right, your Rob Marciano with us. We're going to turn now to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that reserve deputy facing charges for shooting a suspect with a real gun instead of his stun gun. The FBI today clearing Robert Bates of any civil rights violations. He remains accused of manslaughter, shooting a suspect being held down by other deputies. The sheriff there in Tulsa today saying Bates was properly certified. The victim's family had claimed those records are incomplete. Now to that blast of severe weather hitting at this hour. 55 million Americans from Florida to New York hail high wind, severe thunderstorms. Now tornado watches in nine states from Georgia to Pennsylvania. A dangerous commute home. That is the hail hitting in Marietta, Georgia tonight. I-75 slamming into the windshields there. Across Arkansas this evening, dangerous lightning on the horizon there. There's clouds all part of the same system. And take a look. It is marching east and quickly. Meteorologist Rob